to 55 penny wins. Today was something a little different. We're going to look at some of the math. It's in one of the FRQs. So 2016, number two on population growth rate. The bacteria can be cultured in media with carefully controlled nutrient composition. The graph below shows the growth of bacterial population in media with limiting amounts of nutrients one and two. So this is what we call a double Y axis. And I did want to point that out to you. That on the left hand side, we see the bacterial population density in cells per milliliter. And that represents the solid line we see here because it's our population density. Okay, and then on our right hand side, we see the relative concentration of nutrients. And so that's actually going to represent these kind of hashed and dotted lines. Um, and so if there were numbers over here, those numbers would correspond to these lines, which would be our nutrients. And then the solid line, of course, corresponds to the numbers that we see on this side. So the first part isn't actually doing any type of math, but I did want to point out how there could be a numeric response in terms of one of your FRQs. So estimate the maximum population density in cells per milliliter for the culture. So if we look at our graph, we can see where is the highest point that that population density was. And it's right here. We take our dotted line over and it's 10 to the 8th. And that's how many our population density is. OK, um, and of course, I would write that as a complete sentence. So here's the math. This comes off of our formula sheet. It's dy over dt would be your rate. So that's talking about the change in y over your change in x. So using the data, calculate the growth rate in cells per milliliter hour of the bacterial population between hours two and four. And so we're going to look at our graph and say we've got two hours, it's 10 to the first cells per milliliter. And then at four hours, we see we have 10 to the fourth cells per milliliter. So let's first look at our formula. We've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So those twos mean our second value and those ones mean our first value. And so since we're looking between two and four, our second value will be our four hours and our first value will be our two hours. Um, so we saw that at four hours, it was 10 to the fourth. So we have 10 to the fourth. And then we saw at two hours that it was 10 to the first. So 10 to the fourth minus 10 to the first. Okay. Students oftentimes make a mistake here and then they just say 10 to the third. Um, but if you expand that out, you're going to see that 10 to the fourth is actually 10,000. And 10 to the first is just 10. And then of course, our X is on the bottom being our uh, X2, our four minus our two. And that, of course, just carries over. So 10,000 minus 10 is 9,990. And then we divide that by two, we get 4,995. Hope this helps. Remember, 8,000 was just assessed by all.